Hey, welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Today on Garage Time with Bilsif, I've been fabricating a 12 volt pulley. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. I didn't record any of it. I know I apologize, but don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like this. But it's day seven. I was having some me time in the garage today, but I should have recorded this because it turned out better than I thought it would. I thought maybe I was just blowing smoke up my butthole, but hey, works good, boys. So what I'm trying to do is I put a queen size mattress in your trailer. If you get a queen size mattress in your trailer and there's storage under the bed, it becomes a real chore to lift that bed. Now you can go online and you can buy, you know, electric rams and this and that and the other friggin' thing, but they're like 300 friggin' dollars by the time you get them. So I have a bunch of stuff around here and some pulleys and this and that and the other thing, so I'm gonna try to fabricate something myself. But this is what I've come up with so far, boys. This is gonna go underneath the bed, right, against this side, so it's not really taking up much room. I'll put a build little box around it. I'm gonna have another piece of steel with a wheel on it, and I'm gonna have a pulley here. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna have a cable, and it's gonna run onto this piece of steel, back to the pulley. Sorry, it's gonna run from this, around the pulley, back to another pulley, and then back to this again. So it doesn't have much of a stress on here, and it can lift a lot more. That's my theory. I might only need to go one pulley. Tie to here one pulley, I don't know yet. But we're gonna find out when I go to install this in the trailer. Then I'm gonna put a wheel on the other end of the steel so when it pulls up, it runs along here on a wheel and I'll put another beam so it follows a the track. There's lots of room under there and I can stack stuff on each side of this and leave a channel for this thing. But then when I come to the trailer, I just hit the button and the bed goes mm, so I can get my stuff out. So that's my plan. So this is how I did it, boys. This is how I made the pulley. Now this was time consuming as dicks, but I gotta show you because it's neat. I have about 10 of these window motors. These are window motors. They got quite a bit of torque, so they work really good. So I use a window motor, I use a socket, and I used a, a cut off piece of bolt and I fabricated this bracketry to hold the motor. Pretty sturdy, eh? See, but what I did was I got a bolt in here just to support this side of the pulley, right? So that when it's pulling on the cable, it's not gonna pull on the whole just this one side, it's gonna use this as a guide. So how I did that was I put a little pinny, a ruski in here. Hold on, let me grab my needle nose, boys. So I put a pin in here just to hold that nut in. So what I did with there is I just pull a pin, a little cotter pin, this slides out, and then there you go. So this was just a bolt that I shaved off, and then I drilled a hole through it for a pin, boys. So now, if I ever want to change the motor, all I gotta do is pull this off. I don't know, I haven't had this off yet, so hopefully it comes off, please. Pull this off like that and slide her out. There you go. Now see, I fabricated this thing. This is a washer that I had a not notches into and then I welded it to a bigger washer, which made my little pulley thing, okay? It's friggin' decent. So if you look at a motor, it's got notches on the motor. See the little notches there? And that's what grabbed her, boys. So you had to make sure that the notches lined up and they worked. So yeah, this was definitely a little tedious, but the end result is mint. So there you go, slides right on. Locks in real good. We'll slide in this, slide on a washer, ease it. Slide on another washer, ease it. Slide her in, Jim, this is a little bit of a trick. Perfect. So we'll slide this back in. We'll slide my cotter pin back in. Oh, careful. There we go. So the cotter pin's in, Jim. So now, it's ready to rock. So if you look down here, and I'll show you how strong this thing is. It's pretty strong, boys. So, we just use a, we'll just use a battery charger for now. That's all I have. Captain? Bill Nye the science guy, eh? Freaking right, boys. I should have been recording this. Like I said, you probably would have enjoyed it, but hey, it was my time. My time for fabricating. So there you go. So she's a little squeaky side, but it's all good, boys, because that's what uh, makes it go, eh? But look it, I can squeeze that. It takes a lot. I still can't stop it, boys. Right? That thing's got some balls, Jim. It's a little on the crooked side here. Hold on, let me straighten it up. There you go. Decent. So when you pull it on it this way, it can't come out. See? Ow, fuck friction. But yeah, that should work good. And then you just reverse the polarities for uh, reverse, boys. Three-way switch. Click, click, forward, click, click, backwards. Click, click in the middle for off. And that's it. And I got about 10 of these, so I'll let her burn up, boys. I'll get more. Freaking ready, dude. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that. That's what I made today. It's not done yet. But we won't finish that together. That one will finish together, we will. 
freaking great. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of that. Tell me if it's a cocked over idea or if you like it. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's gonna work decent, boys. Decent. Friggin' right it's decent. But I'm gonna use uh, this here. I know it's a little heavy duty, but I'm gonna use that to lift the bed. And I'm gonna weld a nice beefy wheel to the piece of the steel so it rolls along the floor on the wheel instead of on the piece of metal so I can't wear the floor out. And then I got some guide wire I'm gonna use. Where have I put it? I need some guide wire. So it doesn't break, boys. I can't wait to try this. It's gonna be freaking awesome. But anyways, this is just a short little video today because it was me day, but I still wanted to share this with you because that's what I do. That's what the dirty old Bill stuff does. He does that kind of stuff. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like this idea and uh, we'll have to see how it works. Fair and right, Will. So don't do anything I wouldn't do, and uh, until next time, you know what to do for now.